Christ's sake. <laughs> Fucking dots in the way. How do I get rid of those dots? Look at them. I don't know what to do about these dots of sunlight coming from my blinds. I can't get rid of them. I've tried everything. How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. And uh, I, again, I apologize about these dots of like sunlight coming from my blinds. I can't do anything about them. And there's also someone mowing my lawn. So I apologize if you can hear shit. That shouldn't be in the video. Welcome back to the beginner's guide. Sorry, it's been a long time. Um... But obviously, I've, I've had a lot of stuff going on, um, as you know, and you guys have been really patient. So let's uh, let's get back to it, shall we? So when we left off, like this game was just amazingly interesting. It was unlike anything, and we've uh, been waiting to get to the end. Okay, Born this one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. So we're in an apartment now, and um, yeah, I can't. Ooh. I can't wait to get to the end to see the point to all this. We're in some sort of apartment now, which is very nice. Nice feng shui, I, I would say. I apologize for that background noise. There's nothing I can do about it. He decided to mow my lawn now. <laughs> oh. oh, we're in a well. See, like, this is it, the whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. I just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Okay. Oh. The furniture is outlined. How about TV with surround sound? Yeah! Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, now what? I'll do it. Now what about along the wall of the room? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I'm game. I'm fucking game for that. Where is it? Oh. I think we should light up this room a bit. A skylight. Yeah, I like skylights. Where is it? Ah! Oh. Is, is that a skylight, really? You need a table. There is a table. Who are you? Oh yeah, let's ask who it is. Oh shit! Oh my god, it's like an IKEA There's a shop. There's more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Oh my god. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time, he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello. Oh. Oh, we're from an outside perspective. Okay. Only check this carefully. Take care. You know you step. Oh, click on this table. Okay. Whoa. It went away. Photo. Now turn the lamp on and off. Okay. Now I'll go to the left sofa and move it over a little, okay. Oh, finally touch the shelves. That's it. In the real prison you escape, will not open, return to the start, take it to your prison. Okay. So we gotta go back out here. Return. Okay. What was the meaning behind that? Oh, we're back. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the oh. outside and the outside is the inside. Oh Let God. Let me blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. 
This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Okay. So Coda liked this version of it. It's certainly a different. Ah. There's one of those uh, street lamps again. Okay. There's a phone box as well. It's very Doctor Who. Oh, okay. It's a phone box. Ooh. Hello. Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm from... I'm... I'm you from after you escaped the prison. What? Okay, oh, you're me. Okay. So you were trapped in the prison too. Yep, I was in the furniture maze. It's yep. a conversation. Okay. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. I see. So he, was he lonely? Another version of you when you were trapped. It's like he's asking himself these questions, I guess. To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. I'm just pressing one for everything. How does th that work? Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Sincere about what? Exactly what you need to figure out in order to escape. Okay. Well... I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Oh Isn't god. Nice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Okay. Cold. Very, um... To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Okay, we're in a we're in a house. Oh, hello! My goodness, I'm glad as heck you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean the entire house all by myself, and right miserable I would have been. Everyone knows. Learn some hands, mate. Okay. Don't worry about the place, nice. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this you new and improved chat system, of you, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Make the bed, okay. Where's the bedroom? I've been told to make the bed. I'm not very good at making my bed, I just warn you. Okay. While you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? Oh my god, stop mowing my lawn! Okay. All little details matter. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well. I don't enjoy it as much as I need it. When I'm working, I feel kind of calm. Whereas in the pit of my ribcage. My soul just can't be soothed any other way, it seems, which I guess is about all that matters. Oh, that tidy, that couch, straight in the pillows. All right, okay. You, you really are bossy, Mr. Green Man. There we go. Oh, dear, it looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. No. No, no. I feel compelled to share incredibly cheesy puzzle insight. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, I'll try to get by. 
Oh, did I say something wrong? No, no, it's stupid. Sorry, never mind. No, go on, Mr. Green Man! Hey, the dishes need to be washed. Why don't you do that? You know something? Maybe you should fucking do something. I just got home. I don't know what's going on. Where's the kitchen? Wash the dishes. Okay. There they are. Oh my god, what have you been eating? Blood? Jesus. Last time I checked, the tub needed cleaning. How about you scrub it down the best as you can? Well, you know, I may as well... Oh dear. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, the book's scattered on the floor in the bedroom. Put them on the shelf. <sighs> he is taking the piss a little bit. Come on. Could have, could have done this whilst I'm, I've been away. Perfect. Now how about you come here and clean the dishes off the After table? the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. Wait a minute. It's the this moment is... after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Let's move out the rug in the bedroom. I know that Koda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. He just walked around with a constant smile on his face. So, cleaning over and over again. Which easy thought. Okay. It's going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you, eh? Don't know why I felt so weird about saying it. I get it, that's weird to say to someone you just met. Anyway, so... Housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clean up the books? Thanks. So, cleaning over and over again, doing the same tasks. Taking care of the house. The pit of the couch are real mess. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. I'm glad he found peace too. But of course, it? it can't last. The music stops. Your companion is gone. It's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Okay, don't don't stop. A light. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Okay. I'm really starting to get... Like, I'm st really am learning about the mind of someone. This one gets a bit goofy. Huh. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Why is no one else here? Was it to make your relationship more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. Well, oh, okay. Oh shit. Your workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know that so well the developers a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is, how do we do it? But how do we get, how do we do it effortlessly? That is easy. It is so easy. It About is so easy. The game, the perspective Being shifts. perfect is effortless. Oh shit. This is the key. How do I activate it with effort? And you play as the teacher. And suddenly you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Okay. Can I go up to the big Zauron eye thing? There is no truth, there is no path. Okay, who's giving this lecture? A 
fell pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Okay, true. Where are we going now? I can't wait to see. I just can't wait to see what's in store next every single time. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange. Whoa! Holy shit. Beginning, please, please. That scared the shit out of me. In this scene, you will be playing as me. We are at the gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out by letting, oh, leaning against this wall. Okay. Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in the chair is a professional photographer of animals. Oh shit. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is the one chance to learn something from her, to gain something to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Hey! Hello, that's it. That's not a conversation. You'll need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. I'm super s okay. Here are all my hopes and dreams. Okay, go. No, 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 that's not, <laughs> that's not what I said to, to her at all. You're completely missing the ton, the tone of the conversation. I was reserved but I knew that I wanted, I was more confident. For some reason I just thought that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need to feel, oh my shit. There are a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now go talk to her again. Okay. Um, I bet you, okay, you must have worked really hard to get where you are. You're messing it all up again. Oh shit. You'll freak her out and the conversations get personal that quickly. Do you realize how important it is for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Okay. What? Well, I'm sorry. Mm, I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. Oh shit. Hello? Well... Well, now what? Am I not a good actor? Fine, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna keep going down here. Oh, shit. Okay, now yes, this is working. That's what I like. with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to social perform anxiety. and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from you. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. I did get but the... But what um... can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. I did get, like, when I was talking to that woman, that that, that was about social anxiety. Morpus, to, to play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. I have to close my eyes? Oh, I, oh. Captain, what can we do? Oh, help, I'm blind. How can I play this game with my eyes closed? Please, someone talk to me. Oh shit, what's that?
What is that? Oh, okay. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. What's the solution? Okay. The only way to stop it is to speak so that's honest. Oh my god, I can't stop this from happening. Okay, let's get back up and see what that guy had to say. True. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. I am bursting with creative energy. I can't keep making these. Yep, that's it. That's the truth. Okay. I don't feel it anymore. I'm out of like ideas. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Oh my god, they're taking longer to make. I wonder how troubled he is. Oh. I don't know where I am. Hello? Oh shit. Oh. Well that's nice. Was I how do I Okay, where does island come from? Well this is pretty. Oh, there's a new one. Is that how a person is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. Oh shit. Is, is this the tree of truth? Oh no. What happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. Let's just go with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, now where? Oh, okay. Another one. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Well, where is it? Tell me. What? Where is it? Come on. Ooh, there's more. can take you to it, but the last there's a problem. If the last featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder, even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? And here's the door thing again. Because from my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Now just go, now just open the first door. Now just press the switch. Yeah, close one door before you can open another. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. I 
see. You have to say that works fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simply dangerous and that you love it 100% of the time. Okay, making games is simple. Oh shit. Ah, that feels wonderful. Okay. But it wasn't true. Don't worry about it, just keep talking. Keep saying the creation is easy. When I make games, I feel completely energized. This is wonderful, keep going. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like, video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to Christ. get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt like. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Yeah, but I mean, if my stop. friend was making these... Sort After of... finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months Jesus. and comes up with a new game. Man, if Coda was my friend, I'd be like, dude, you know, I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to sit him down and find out why he's making these games. The machine. Okay. Weren't we just looking for a machine? Glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick. Very good. Just be warned that some called the press, so we might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. That's my name. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, no pictures, no pictures. Come on, guys. I just want to live my life. Okay. Ooh. Like a big... And of course, battery. it's the machine. You stop feeding us. Feeding us? There's people out there can... You imagine the pain you put them through? This is representing his brain or something. No, nothing. If you guys read along, because I don't want to interrupt the guy talking. So what does this machine represent? Oh shit. Okay guys, the machine is broken, go home. My, fo my friends. Let's choose my friends. Falls me to deliver bad news. The machine will not apologize to us. But it's not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. Let's pay retribution. What is the machine? What are we, we, we will destroy the machine. Let's destroy, oh, back in the theatre. Okay. Oh shit! I got a gun. Oh! Oh my god, we're destroying the whole theater! Ah! Coda, make sure. I'll make sure your work dies here. He's killing his own work. Isn't it that you're scared of having a life? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. Oh. And so, Princess. as I'm thinking this, I realized that I could be the one to initiate it. 
because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So what if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So he destroys self-destructive now. Oh shit. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Okay, so did that make him happy? Put down your weapon. No! Can you see Kill why machine. I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Wow. Sounds like this guy's going a little bit crazy now. Um. So anyway. Oh Coda dear. finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Uh, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Really? So let's take a look. It sounds like he was going a little bit like cuckoo there, like maybe he was becoming obsessed with his work. Okay, so this is apparently the last one he ever made. Coda, bless his soul. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. Hmm. Looks like something out of Lord of the Rings to me. This room actually has a maze in it. Oh, shit. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I like that the guy is helping me try to play these games. It's really helpful. Thank you. It's just... And to be fair, okay. it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Um, sometimes you can't escape from what you can't see, I don't know. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me. 
because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Okay. Let's get a one. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Went too far. Okay, one, five, one. Oh, you son of a bitch! One five one six one seven. Oh, you star! He keeps going past. All done. Coda has a really interesting perspective on like how like to not finish his games. Like like you just said, most of them are unplayable. And there's hit everything's hidden, it seems. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges, and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. He's, uh, this guy is sounding increasingly more depressed and worried, like he's getting very frustrated. I for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be, it's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011, I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. He's getting frustrated now at Coda because he doesn't feel like I he can felt so help him. I that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Where did hmm. I screw up? Hmm. When you are trying to help someone and you can't, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to speak. I need to ask you... I am the reason that you stopped anyone. making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Oh, shit. Davey, is that the name of the guy speaking? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Okay. You affected my personal and space. That's possible. the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. 
for a moment, while I had that, Shit. I liked myself. So these guys are falling out now. And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Oh dear. So these are messages left for him. But I do hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with the thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Well, you finally see what I'm talking about. Don't say anything. Okay. It's the same puzzle again. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, Will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's what nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Shit, snapped. What now? Okay. Oh. Okay. Is this like a train station or something? Okay, so like, Davey really wanted Coda to like keep making games for him. It became all about him. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution. Solution, solution. Oh shit. I'm kind of speechless right now. I don't really know what to say. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Maybe. I didn't expect him. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. I just don't... Oh. It's blackened out. Okay. Oh, shit. Why 
where the hell are we now? This game has got so many different feels to it. Some of it, like, if you I can... I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Wow. Okay. Well, this is, um... What now? Exactly. That's how I'm feeling. Like, what, what now? It's kind of questioning... I think I need to go. And... I'm sorry, because... I know that I said that I would be here, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for, and so I'm just gonna... Okay. What? Are you staying with us, or...? Is he gone? Has he left us? Is this one of Coda's games? I thought he stopped making them. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. It's just that like, there's, there's so much thought going on right now. And we're kind of on our own. Okay. Oh shit. Oh! Floor's raising. I kind of feel uneased about, like, without his guidance, like, without that guy's voice. Like, it kind of, um. It's kind of unnerving, actually. Is it supposed to do that? Long tunnel. Big blue light at the end. No sprint button. Fabulous. <laughs> I kind of feel unguided now without him popping up. I kind of want him to come back actually. This game has many feels. And um... I'm just excited to see the end, like, I'm hoping there's a solution to all this. Okay, the blue buzzing light. Let's go! Beam me up, Scotty! Oh, shit. Where are we? It's the glitch again. Oh my god. Wow. Imagine trying to get out of that. Holy shit. That's quite stunning actually, isn't it? That is quite amazing. Like a never ending maze. That could mean many things.
this project wouldn't have been possible without the following individuals. Let me keep going. But the cave goes for miles. Turn back written by. And miles. Okay. So that's the song. So is that it? Is, is that over? wait and see if that's actually it, if that's actually over. That's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> lot, lot, lot of feels from this game. I mean, it is obviously completely different and um, has a very unique style. I like the fact that you're learning about a person, but um, that person if I'm correct, was okay. Coda um, seemed to be okay. And it was his, um, Davy's assumptions that he wasn't okay. He found a lot of um, meanings in his work and got obsessed. It could mean so many th different things. It means, uh, from playing these games, it means some, some things like I, I, I like, um, I can relate to like with social anxieties and distancing yourself like I, I certainly like the scene in the theatre where you're put on stage which is the most unnerving experience you can imagine um, I know because I, I have been on stage and then like talking to someone and having someone telling you you're doing it all wrong you're doing it all wrong and then shoving pe more people and pressure in your face and then the cages start coming down and you start you know backing away from society things like that things like the door puzzle you've got to close that door in order to open another like there were so many meanings in here and i think the main point of this game that i i took from this is that um you have to make your own evaluation of it and i really liked it i really enjoyed it and um i may not get all of it but to me i t i've taken some things from this game and um yeah i like it i like it a lot <laughs> Guys, if you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a very interesting game. Um, starting to get more into the swing of things now. Um, thank you for your understanding. Uh, for it's, it's been quite a difficult time recently. But um, I'm glad you guys are here, basically. Like, love, caress my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.